I'm Phil Bridges, owner of Straight Arrow Repair. Ever want to know how a repairman fixes things? Well, come with me and I'll show you how I solve problems. Let's make things better together. Hey, good to have you here. Um, what we're doing today is replacing doors that we put in a while back and they were put in wrong evidently or they became out of square. You can see where they took a chisel and chiseled out and sanded. You can see this gap over here where it's not, it's wider than down there. Tilted over so they still, this needed to go little lower so you keep that gap all the way across instead it was rubbing over and uh, they, they had to chisel that out to get it to close but now it's been leaking so long they rotted out the <clears throat> one by four trim that they had in the bottom of the door and so we're going to replace this door it's going to take this wide trim on the outside which is called brick mold which by the way you can get this stuff in plastic and it won't ever rot well, at least not that I've seen in 30 years um, I think it'll discolor before it rots yeah and you can paint it this It's done with finger joints. I don't know if you can see that. Right there, they finger jointed that. So, a lot of times this stuff falls apart. This particular side has been protected and they put a lot of nails on it. So I've been uh, not intending to use this again because we have new trim on the new door. I'm not worried about trying to keep it. Most of the time this stuff falls apart. Doesn't look like the door is fastened. See how it's moving? Guess how it was being held was uh, the trim. by the trim. Is that the correct way? Huh? Is that the correct way? No. <laughs> All right. Now to make my job a little easier, I'm just going to take the door off. My hinges. by a longer screw. screws are holding right there.
pretty messy. Lady bug type things. They're called aphids, I believe. They uh, they get in tight places. And by the way, these things will bite, but they're not going to fare well in this. Most of them are dead. They don't bite terrible, but like a cave did or something. But they do bite. I'm like dwarf sweeping. There's a wasp. You find a place to get one too. <laughs> not anymore. Looks like they put the tile right over top of the carpet. Stick on tile right on top of the carpet. Where'd you do that? It's terrible. I don't know who did I guess it worked for a little while. Um, these people bought it and they're trying to make things better. Seven and a half inches, and boy, that's close. Oh, yeah. Might need to take that out. Hopefully not. Maybe just hammer it over. Let me check the middle. Thirty-seven and three eighths. Tight. There we got lots of room. Thirty-eight. Five eighths of an inch more. Odd. Just hammer it over. <laughs> this is not level. So that is over. And that is needs to come this way on the top. make <coughs> that work and then eighty two and a quarter eighty two and a quarter so let me cut that out where I marked it <coughs> and then this is not level, it's going downhill. So let's see how much. Right there. Five eighths. Five eighths of an inch. By 37 and three eighths. All right, we'll come back when you get the door here. All right, all right. So we determined that we were an inch and an eight or an inch low here. So I made some angles cut out of a two by four that goes from an inch to nothing. I'm gonna line them up with this two by four so it'll be not sticking out. longer screws on this end Alright, 
So we determined that we were an inch and an eight or an inch low here, so I made some angles cut out of a two by four that goes from an inch to nothing. I'm gonna line them up with this two by four so it'll be not sticking out. Using longer screws on this end. Shorter on this side. the door jam from the very bottom of the door to the top of the door is 81 and a half. So definitely gonna have to cut this right here. And we'll take a saws off. This thing in the cameraman has to help me. A little bit tight, a little bit heavy. So we're gonna get this up tight against over here on the trim. Mind I have taken that out and putting a shim on it. But the thing about screws is you can take it back off. Pretty tight until we get up here. Can we hold those shims for you? Like, why do they why don't they just go like a half door here? I don't know. Maybe they will. Uh, 
Oh the crew. Let's see how the door does. That's fine. Looks like it's hitting on the bottom first. We still need to go up over here on the side because it's wider over there. Or do we come down here? Either that's got to go up or this has got to go down. That side needs to go up. Yeah. Okay, shim tank. So what we're looking for is get to get this gap right here, which can't be changed because these are fastened. They'll be the same gap all the way across. So I'll take the screws loose over there, slide a wedge under, and try to get this up, which will lift this at the same time. But the gap right here looks pretty good. If we look to be further in here, that probably means that we're hitting on the bottom before we're hitting on the top. So when you look on the outside, I mean the framing on this is off. Actually hitting the top before the bottom. That looks pretty good. The top will have to come back. So I know I put it over here tight, but we'll have to pull it this way because the framing's not level. Okay. All right. I think we're going to have to pull because it this bolt screw we put in here we're going to pull that out and go back because it's hitting at the top before the bottom It's here at the bottom. Huh? Definitely here at the bottom. I mean, that's. You, I think that would be good if you put these in. Well. Where's the door? The top needs to go over a little more. No. Come here, look. This is meeting here, but not down there. Maybe the metal clad doors got bent a little bit. That'll probably do it. We'll put a couple more screws and wedges. And then onto the easy part. Yeah. But we'll be back. It's Phil Bridges. If you like what you saw and think it might be helpful to somebody else, push that like button and let other people know what you and I now know. And we'll work together toward making a brighter future. And by the way, we're not Americans, we're Americans. See you next time.